the waiting factor for the bladder, liver, esophagus and the thyroid will be 0.04 that means it's a higher waiting factor which means that these tissues are uh, the radio sensitivity is higher so they are more uh, 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 affected by radiation. Uh, the number goes to 0 0.08 when it comes to the gonads while see the red bone marrow is uh, red bone marrow, colon, lung and the stomach, breast and the remainder of the tissue, remainder of the tissue is 0 0.12 this means that these waiting factor values are high, so the radio sensitivity is high. These tissues are more affected than these if they are struck by ionizing radiations, uh, while skin and bone surface are the least affected. And we will know now why the waiting factor differ from uh, tissue to tissue, uh, to tissue, but what for this, for for the purposes of calculation, if we want to cal calculate the effective dose, that is the dose given to a tissue, then we have to ma know the equivalent dose, equivalent dose, and multiply it. This is the, this specifies the type of radiation. So now, now we need to specify the type of tissue. So th we have to multiply the equivalent dose by the weighting factor. Of the uh, of the tissue, this if you split it more the equation, the equivalent dose has resulted from the radiation absorbed dose, which is measured in gray. Okay, this was general for all type of radiation. If you want to specify it, then you're going to multiply it by Q. So you have specified the type of radiation, and if you want to specify the tissue, then you are going to multiply it by the W of that tissue. This will give you the uh, effective <coughs> dose given to the tissue. The standard international unit is sievert, uh, and the subunits are millisieverts, as we said earlier, and mi microsieverts, and the effective dose for the whole body is the sum of W, so you have to have to like effective dose for the gonads, effective dose for the bone, effective dose for the blah 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 blah, all these tissues and then you add them, sum them all together. But in reality this specification for, for certain tissues is not and done in real life, what we, when, when the effective dose is given usually it is given for a whole body radiation. Uh, the if you want to if we want to expand more about the re relative radio sensitivity of various organs, as we said, W, we see that high radio sensitive that high high radio sensitivity of tissues. It means they are there highly affected by radiation, lymphoid organs, bone marrow, testes, intestine, and the mucous membrane. While the tissues which are considered as an intermediate are the fine vasculature, uh, growing cartilage, growing bone, salivary glands, lungs, kidney, and the liver. Those which are least affected by radiation are the optic lens, mature erythrocytes, muscle cells, and the least affected are the neurons. Now you can see from this is that as a general rule, radiosensitive cells uh, they have high mitotic rate. So the key point here is that the higher the mitotic rate of a tissue, of a cell in a tissue, the more it is affected by radiation. They undergo many future mitoses, so the, the, the process of mitosis and division goes on in the future, and they are primitive in nature. While fully, f f highly um, specialized cells are least affected by radiation. From this, we can see that the radiosensitive cells, they have high mitotic activity, they have high mut uh, mutation, uh, future mitosis, sorry, mitosis, and they are most primitive in differentiation. These are the typical ca ca characteristics of cells uh, of the cancer cells.
they undergo multiple division and control division. They are in a process of division and they are very primitive. That's why cancer cells are very highly affected by radiation and this is the principle of radiotherapy. Principle of radiotherapy depends on the high radio sensitivity of cancer cells because they are in an uncontrolled uh, process of division so they are highly affected by the radiation and this is what makes uh, the um, uh, radiotherapy effective in <coughs> cancer cells. If we want to have an idea about the effective doses in radiology, different radiolo radiological procedures, we see that the CT of a chest has effective dose 8 millisievert, which is very high. If you compare it to barium meal or barium enema, it's 7.7 .7 because there is, this is a fluoroscopic uh, process, so there is a continuous process of uh, uh, radiation. Lumbar supine is 2.2, CT head is 2, single uh, exposure, skull, like a PA skull, lateral self, uh, or, uh, water's view, is 0 0.1 millisievert. See the, the difference here. It depends how much x-ray is being uh, delivered to the tissue and the types of tissue which are being irradiated. Just simple chest x-ray is 0 0.04 millisievert, while the OPG is 0 .0, 0 0.007 millisievert, while the two intraoral films E-speed or the digital sensors is 0 0.002. So going through this uh, table, uh, we will show the, uh, we will understand and uh, we will have an idea about the different types of radiation and their effective doses. And now we know how to calculate the effective dose. So, in summary, the absorbed dose, apart from the exposure, which is the measurement of the ionization of uh, uh, a known amount of uh, uh, air and uh, standard uh, uh, one centimeter, uh, one cubic centimeter of air standard temperature and uh, uh, pressure. Uh, this is it. It, 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 it uh, measures the amount uh, or the qu quantity of radiation in air. It doesn't reflect or it doesn't measure the effect of radiation on living tissues. What deals with the uh, 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 radiation effect in the uh, living uh, tissues is the absorbed dose, which is it's not specific for radiation, not specific for tissue. So if you want to specify it uh, for, to a certain type of radiation, then you have to multiply it by the Q factor of that radiation. Then the absorbed dose will be called the equivalent dose. Equivalent dose has no specificity for uh, tissues. So if you want to specify it for a certain tissue, then you have to multiply it by the uh, 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 W or the radio sensitivity or the, uh, 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 of, the, of a certain tissue. Then the equivalent dose will be called the effective dose, which we commonly call the dose. So if we say, like if we go back to this uh, 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 table, the effective dose is, is the dose is the dose, it is the term that we use to describe the energy being deposited to a certain tissue or the dose that is being given to the uh, patient. These are the references uh, and uh, we will continue in other lectures so that we will expand more in uh, this issue.